I'm Todd Batty, Creative Director on SSX. I'm Jeff Coates, Environment Art Director for SSX. This is part one of the SSX Massive World video series. So starting with an interface inspired by Google Earth, there are nine major regions around the world to select from. Within each one of those regions, there's multiple mountains, and on each one of those mountains, there's multiple drop points. So we use NASA topographical data as the foundation for peaks in the game. We take that data and we run it through Mountain Man, which is proprietary software. And we got to a point early in development where we could literally type in the latitude and longitude coordinates of any mountain in the world, press a button, and Mountain Man would create a three-dimensional model of that mountain in just under 28 seconds. So with that, let's just jump right into our first region, the Himalayas. So the Himalayas are really about two very distinct different styles. At the lower altitudes, it's all about the Great Wall of China. You're going to be able to jump over that, ride down it, grind along the edge of it. The statues, the prayer flags, all things that give that region a unique sort of look. At the higher altitude though, the Himalayas is one of the most gnarly, epic regions in the world. The deadly descent is something we call thin air. So here the terrain is much more craggy and rough and it makes it really difficult to get down the mountain quickly. But that's something you're going to be trying to do before you run out of oxygen. So the Himalayas overall have these two amazingly contrasting styles that we think make it an incredibly rich experience. Our next region is Alaska. And you know, when we look at Alaska, definitely one of the most iconic landmarks even in the world is the Alaskan Pipeline. So we thought it'd be really cool to build a gigantic SSX version of the Alaskan Pipeline that you could ride and grind on top of these huge pipes. So in Alaska, you start by going down these crazy ridge lines that open out into this valley, and there you see the Alaskan Pipeline. Now you can get up on the pipeline, ride down it, avoid avalanches, jump off and get back on again. It takes you all the way down through the valley down to the finish line. So in Alaska, you're literally going to have snow crumbling underneath of your board and every run poses huge risks of avalanches. Overall, I think Alaska provides an incredibly unique gameplay experience across the board. So next up, we have Siberia. You know, Siberia stands in stark contrast to the Himalayas and to Alaska, definitely one of our darker environments. So Siberia is one of my favorite tracks from a visual standpoint. It's got a really oppressive, stormy feel to it. You'll be going down the mountain. When you come around the corner, you're going to come out into a, an abandoned nuclear plant. There's going to be lots of opportunities for big tricks, big air, all kinds of stuff. It's one of our widest maps. There are literally hundreds of different ways to get down the mountain. But we couldn't talk about Siberia without talking about ice, because that's what the deadly descent is in Siberia. And all of the maps and all of the tracks and all the mountains you're going to find in Siberia have very little snow. The ice definitely brings a completely unique wrinkle to the region of Siberia. So that wraps up part one of our Massive World video series. Keep an eye out for part two where we're going to go through Patagonia, Antarctica, and New Zealand. Thanks for watching. See you next time.